Be a hot one today, Cooch. Look, I'm just trying to help you, mister. You helped. Now, just take it easy, friend. I lost my horse. And now I'm buying your horse. He's not for sale, mister. Well, you'd better change your mind. I'm paying you a good price for him. Your life. Looks about right, doesn't it? it? Looks fine to me, Paul. I just wonder if little Joe's gonna like it. Oh, why shouldn't he? Well, he probably figures he's getting a little bit too old for surprise birthday parties. Oh, come on now. Man's never too old to have some friends over to help him celebrate an occasion. Well, the beef's all dressed and ready for the spit. The musicians will be here before sundown. Good. Yeah, I think he'll be pleased.
No. No. so much fun since old Judge Parter married for the fourth time. <laughs> it's nice having you, Clem. <laughs> Good night, Ben. And you stop worrying, Ben. Worrying? About what? I'm not worried. Ben, I've known you for a long time. Little Joe, he'll make it home fine. And it was a real fine party. Thank you. Let's Thank go. Thank you for coming. You going somewhere? Here we all. I'm going to bed. Paul. I'm going to bed, and I suggest you do the same. Paul, he's in trouble. That was not a fool thing to say. His horse could have thrown a shoe. Anything could have made him late. Sure. Could have stopped off in a saloon to, to have a drink. Not tonight. Not with $2,000 in his saddlebags. Now, Joseph is old enough to take care of himself. I'm not going to go out searching for him just because he's a couple of hours late. He's not a child. Besides, what if he was tired and decided to just bed down for the night in the hotel? We'd look kind of foolish going out looking for him, wouldn't we? Mm-hmm. We'd all feel a lot better, though, wouldn't we? I am not worried. I'll get changed. Deserted. It was nothing. You rest for a while. To stand, there was nothing. There was nothing when I came here. Please, Mr. Cartwright. You know me. You had some papers in your pocket. Not very ladylike, I'm afraid, but we were curious. But there was, there was nothing here. I came into this town and there was nothing. Please. You, you rest now, Mr. Cartwright. Rest, please. You will live. What did you find out about him? Only his name. He's young and he's strong. But he carries a gun. A lot of men carry guns. They're not all willing to use them. 
I think this boy will. And if he won't? We've got to try. We've waited so long for someone. Received from Little Joe Cartwright. Little Joe. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's what I get for being the youngest member of the family. 200 head of cattle, $10 a head, $2,000. That's a lot of money. It was a lot of money. I don't have it anymore. But I'll get it back. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I just had to know. Know what? About you. That man that just left the room. That's my father. How about this whole town? Martinville. Yesterday, it wasn't Martinville. Yesterday, it... You had a head wound, and you'd been in the sun a long time without water. The sun does funny things to a man. Oh, you did strange things, but yesterday this town was nothing. A ghost you town rest was deserted. Now. We'll talk again later. I don't want to rest now, Miss... Uh, Corman, Louise Corman. And you will rest. Doctor's orders. Well, I, I don't take orders from the doctor. However, if his nurse would ask me very nicely... She already has. And she's very strict. She's also very pretty. All right, I'll rest. I'll rest. How is he? Curious, asking questions. And you told him? Exactly what you wanted me to tell him, nothing. I was just getting ready to close, Mrs. O'Brien. It's not important. I can come back. Not bad. It would make a lovely dress, don't you think? Well, not for mourning, of course. Not for a widow. But for a fiesta, yes. You are planning a fiesta, a celebration, now that your savior has arrived, your messiah. Or is he your fatted calf? Well, I'm going to take another chance. Raise you ten thousand. I'll just call you. High stakes today. Yeah, it would be if toothpicks were money. Well, it's more fun this way. It makes us all feel important. <laughs> well, now, feel important somewhere else. It's lunchtime. Oh, come on, come on, Louise. Really, I can't eat any more today. Now, if the good women of Martinville can take the time to cook... Yeah, I know, Louise. I know that I can take the time to eat it. Are you folks always this way to strangers? Well, whenever we can help someone... I know, but everybody in this town stopping by to say hello, bringing me gifts. Anything wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with it. It just means you've got a real swell town here. You've got to be very proud of it. Hey, wait a minute, where are you going? The fellas left me $20,000 in the hole. Right here. 
This makes us all about even. We'll start again after lunch. Okay, got a deal. Uh, I think the patient can sit up for a little while longer. All right. Chicken soup, Mrs. Allison. Potato soup, Mrs. O'Leary. Beef broth, Mrs. Turner. Irish stew and beef stew. Where do you want to start? That's a good question. Eloise, who's that? We were talking about chicken soup. What's going on here in Martinville? Well, a minute ago, you thought it was the most wonderful town in the world. Look, that's not the point. But the day I came here... Th you were ill. We've gone all over that. Yeah, we haven't come up with any answers. You, your father, the people of this town. Where was everyone that day? We were at a funeral. We were burying our sheriff. A boy, not 25 years old. We need him, Mrs. O'Brien. You should know better than anybody else how much we need him. Well, you expect me to cry for you? No, we... We expect you not to get in the way. All of us. We may not get another chance. But you had a chance once. What did you do with it? Well... Well, this time it may be different. We hope you won't get in the way. Nobody's seen him. He certainly would have stopped here. He always did when he came this way. What do we do now? Backtrack some more and keep backtracking till we find him. Hi, how are you? All right. Yeah, stop worrying. I feel <laughs> fine. Mr. Cartwright. Uh, Mr. Cartwright, Miss O'Brien, our late sheriff's wife. Very pleased to meet you, Mrs. O'Brien. Don't be pleased to meet me. Don't be pleased at anything that happens in this place. Mr. Cartwright, leave this town while you still can. Tell him, Miss Corman. Well, don't you know what these people are planning? They're going to kill you, just as surely as they killed my husband. You leave him alone. Stop saying such ridiculous things. Wait a minute, Louise. What's she talking about? It's nothing. Ever since her husband died, she's been imagining all sorts of things. Poor fool. You poor misguided fool. Black and white pinto, huh? That's right. He was here, just like you described. And? He rode out of here yesterday morning. Said he was headed for the cantina up by Dry Bluffs. Yeah, well, he never got there. Well, it's not my fault. Somewhere between here and Dry Bluffs. Healed? Yeah, I'll be fine, thanks to you. Now I guess I better be going. Why so soon? Something I have to do. Find that money you lost? It was trusted to me, and I let it be taken away. I've got to try to find him. I don't know how, but I'm going to have to try. Goodbye. Leave me, little Joe. Please don't leave me. Masterson, I'm leaving now. I, 
I just wish there was some way I could repay you for all you've done for me. There is. Put that on. Well, you're, not, you're not serious. Oh, well, we're convinced that you could handle the job. Well, that's very flattering, but... And we're convinced that you will. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a lawman, Mr. Corman. No, but you're a man, aren't you? Well, a man pays back his debts. Now, wait a minute. Now, you said you owe us something. All right, we're telling you how you can pay us back. You're telling me or you're asking me? Whichever way you prefer. We're offering you a job. It's as simple as that. Is it? Is it that simple? Then why don't you start by telling me what happened to your last sheriff? Why have I been warned to get out of this town? We thought you liked the people of Martinville. We thought you might want to help us. Help with what? Now, why doesn't somebody tell me what's going on in this town? All right, I'll tell you. And I'm sorry. Will you lend me a horse? Mr. Masterson? Will you sell me a horse? Thanks. Need a horse. Anybody here got a horse they want to sell? You'll get no horse from anyone in this town, Cartwright. Stop him, Louise. I've tried to, well, Papa. Well, then try again. How? You're a woman, he, he likes you. But he's also a human being. One human being, one soul. And we're 216. Now, which is more important? Little Joe! Little Joe, wait! Little Joe! Oh, I got a lot of friends out there. What'd they do? Hide all the livestock? All right, I walked into this town. I was in a lot worse shape. I can walk out. We're all prisoners in this town, little Joe. Can't you see that? What do you mean? Who's prisoners? His name is Felix Matthews. He drove off our livestock and he killed our sheriff. He's the leader of a band of outlaws who operate out of this town. They disappear for weeks at a time, but they always come back, and then the terror begins all over again. But why don't they stop them? We can't stop them. Once we might have, but it was profitable not to. They spent money here, and they let us alone. But then slowly, they became stronger and stronger, and we became weaker. And suddenly, Martinville was their town. Why, why didn't you tell me all this before? Oh, I know I should have. But I wasn't sure I wanted you to get involved in our problems. What well, changed your mind? They're coming back tonight. They'll have their pockets full of money and the smell of blood in their nostrils. And do you think whiskey and food is all they want? Felix Matthews likes me. I managed to keep him away so far, but a girl gets tired, little Joe. And it's a long losing battle. You mean that your father and the rest of this town is gonna let something like that happen? They wanna stop them, little Joe, but they're afraid. They need help. And you're the only one who can help them. What should we do, little Joe? 
Fight him! Has it ever occurred to you to fight him? It occurred to us. We're just not fighters, that's all. Most men are until they have to be, till their families are threatened to their countries. Look, all we did was ask you to help us. You didn't ask me to do anything. You tried to trick me into taking a job I didn't know anything about. We're asking you now, honestly and openly. Look, no one man can do this for you. It takes the whole town, every single one of you. We have the manpower, we have the guns. What we need is a leader. Someone who's willing to risk his life for us. Go outside, we got work to do. It's not going to be nearly high enough, Cartwright. A good horse could easily jump that. Well, that's the idea. We want him to jump it. So we're on the inside. We're going to fire up that coal oil and they'll be trapped. Hey, Pete, Gene, get that coal oil and start soaking this barricade good. You got the rifles for the roofs and the shotguns for the barricade? I'll have them. All right, I'll go down the other end of the street and check the other barricade. All right. What did you tell him? How poor you all are? How unfortunate? Or how helpless? Do you think he would have believed the truth? No. Thank you for that anyway. Then you promised him something. What, Miss Corman? Sweet nights and soft guitars for the rest of his short life? Long nights under the moonlight? The sweet smell of sage? Or was it something more down to earth? Something else that he won't receive? Get out of here. I thought so. You got him to fall in love with you. That's it, isn't it? Please leave, Katie. Why? So you can throw that boy's life away? What he doesn't know won't hurt him? He doesn't have to die. Doesn't he? One man against all of them. Please, Katie, don't you see? He's all we have. He's our only chance to get out of this town. To get off these streets after so many years. And for that, he dies. Yes, he dies. Oh, sure, they're building barricades, acting like brave men now. But you know, when the showdown comes, that boy will have no more help than my husband had when he thought he could fight back. Because even if the help were theirs to give, the people of this town just don't have it in them. They never did. They're getting exactly what they deserve. Wait. Not so high? Are you sorry? Sorry about what? We got you involved in all of this. No, I'd be a lot worse off if I hadn't wandered into Martinville. I'd be lying out on the desert somewhere dead. Are you doing this for me? I'm doing it. That's all that's important. No, it isn't. You have to be doing it for the whole town. All of them. Oh, 
okay if that's the way you want it. No, it has to be that way. If not, it's all a waste. They're coming. We can hear their horses. All right, that's far enough, Matthews. Well, well, well. What have we here? You know what it is, and you know what it's for. Masterson, Corman, get up there where I can see you. Get up here. Are you playing games again? Well, you see, Mr. Matthews... Don't mister him, Corman. This isn't a game, Matthews. You're through in this town. Get that straight right now. All right, Masterson, get this pile of junk out of the middle of the street right now. We're coming through. This pile of junk stays. You're going to let this boy dig his own grave, Masterson, with his mouth. It's my grave. Maybe. There's no maybe about it. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Me and the boys are going to rest up for a spell, and then we'll come down. Maybe it'll be in an hour. Maybe we'll wait till sunup. Maybe, maybe not even then. Just maybe. Oh, but we'll be back. And if this barricade is still up when we get here, do you know what we're going to do then? Well, let me tell you, gentlemen. Have you ever seen a town wiped out, taken apart, piece by piece? Well, you've got an experience in store for you, gentlemen. Think about that. Oh, and, uh, Masterson, if you make us fight, don't waste all your ammunition on me and the boys. Save some for the women folk and the kids. I tried to warn you. It'll work out fine. If you leave now, while you have the chance. You know, you sound like you're trying to protect Felix Matthews. I thought you said he was the man that shot your husband. He pointed the gun. He pulled the trigger, yes. But that's all. You want to know what killed my husband? Cowardice. It was the cowardice of a whole town. Fight them, my husband said. And they were all for it. Build a barricade, he said. And they ran out into the street with their chairs and their mattresses. Or did you think this idea of yours was 100% original? This time it'll work. Will it? It's been tried before, my friend. And do you know what happened? They've learned their lesson, little Joe. They'll know better this time. Have they? Look at them. They're beginning to fall apart already. And in a few hours, the barricades will come down again. When that happens, Felix Matthews will ride in after you. And not one man in this town will lift a finger to stop him. It is. It's like one man on horseback and one on foot. Yeah, going right out in the desert. That's right.
here easy. Now take it easy. Come to your senses. Can't you see? It won't work. Go on, take him inside. He's right. It's no use. We can't win. What do you mean he's right? You're winning. Can't you see that? You're called his bluff. Matthews can't fight his way into this town. No, not now he can't. But in a few days, a few weeks, how long can we go on living like this? In other words, you want to quit. No, it's not a question of quitting. It's, it's a question of common sense. We gambled. We lost. And you're always going to lose, Masterson. You and men like you. Because you're willing to trade your basic rights for a few stinking pennies. And when you find out you made a bad deal, you scream you're being victimized. Don't judge us, boy. Why shouldn't I judge you? Because... Well, because you don't know us. Well, we thought we could be strong, but... No, no, Corman, you thought I could be strong for you. Well, I can't, not by myself. So we lose. Again, we lose. And you're gonna take it just like that. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. I tried to tell you what kind of men they are. It's no good. It just didn't work out. I'm sorry, little Joe. Oh, I lost him. Last night they were so ready to fight, now I lost them. Wait! I told you to wait! You want this barricade down? All right. I helped build it. I'll show you how to tear it down. First thing that goes is your courage. That just gets in the way. Next thing that goes is your manhood. Another thing you don't need. Concern for the safety of your women and children. It's too late for that now. All right, and here's the last thing. This is the last thing, but that's got to go too, doesn't it, gentlemen? This is your self-respect. All right, there it is. There's what's left of you. Nothing. Now Matthews can ride into this town just like he was going to a Sunday meeting. But a breach goes both ways, gentlemen. If a man can ride into it, another one can walk out, and that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this gun, and I'm going to walk through that barricade, and I'm going to walk down that street up to that mesa, and I'm going to kill as many of Matthew's men as I can before they kill me. Now, is there anybody in this town man enough to join me? Well, it's just plain suicide. Maybe not. It's an old cavalry trick, Masterson. When everything seems hopeless, charge. Look, we can do it if you'll just get behind me. Well, they'll put all of us down before we get halfway up that hill. Oh, no, they won't, because it's the last thing they'll expect from you. Look, we can do it. Now, who's with me? I'm with you. I'll go with you if you'll lead us. You know I'll lead you. Can't you see he's right? Can't you see we've got to do it? We must do it! Are you willing to go? Yes. How about the rest of you? The whole go! I'll go talk to the rest of the men at the other barricade. Oh, little Joe, please be careful. I don't want you to worry. It's going to happen. I got too much going for me. Little Joe, there's something you don't know about us. All right. We're ready. When I come back, I want to see you standing right here. Let's get to those rocks as quick as we can and spread out. Let's go.
money's all there. It's in the saddlebag. Thanks, Mom. Well, that's not Matthews. That's the man that stole my horse. It took a lot of doing, son. Tracking him down by yourself on foot. But I wasn't by myself. I had the whole town behind me. What town? Where is everybody? Well, Joe, there's no one here except us. Whole town behind me, Pa, really behind me. Whole town of Martinville. Look, little Joe. Son, I don't know what you're trying to say or why. But Martinville's been a ghost town for a good number of years. I know there were people in this town. I talked to him. I worked with him. Uh, Joseph, there was also a hot sun and a, and a head wound. The sun does funny things to a person. That's what she said to me. Who? Girl I met here, Louise. Son, Martinville has been a dead town for such a long time. There's even, there's even a legend connected with it. Something about a sheriff or something. O'Brien? Well, I don't know what his name was, but the story goes that Martinville turned its back on him and let him get killed. The sheriff's wife, well, she just put a curse on the whole town, doomed all the people of Martinville to walk the streets of the town for all eternity until some fella came along who was foolish enough or maybe brave enough to risk his life for them. Sounds sort of weird. Yeah, well, all legends sound weird or a little funny, depending on how you look at them. I know there were people in this town, Pa. Joe. Let's get on home. We'll talk about it. Pa, wait a minute. That wagon, it wasn't here when I first came into town. Must have been. It wasn't, Pa. It was part of a barricade. I know. I built it. I turned that wagon over myself. Joe, come on home. There's nothing here. Son, when a man knows something, deep down in his heart, when he really knows, he doesn't have to argue about it, doesn't have to prove it. Just knowing, that's enough. 